Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The link also is home to the Temple Owls. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Air Force Falcon taking on a team looking for its first win, the Temple Owl. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Falcons will get us underway with the opening kickoff. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Temple's offense is on the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. The Owls want to move quickly. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. It's caught. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins the football. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Swings it out to his running back. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Now on second down and short. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. And they're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. Got enough space. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Temple. You want to talk about coming out and setting the tone and making your presence known immediately. It's every coach talks about it all during the week, how important it is to start fast. But coming out and executing is another thing. Great start for the offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was closed out by the fantastic 25-yard touchdown run. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So Air Force's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys... And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Play-action pass success has a lot to do with selling that thing. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. Looking to throw, it's Bryant. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop and they can get off the field on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. A little screen to the running back. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And the Falcons send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. 
Secures it at the 30. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They'll go to the ground. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads it left. Makes a connection. He's off to the races. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Fowles. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that. That quickly chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something figured out. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. From the gun, running back on the move. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Turns it on in midfield. Bust through behind his pad. A giant chunk of yardage picked up there and there down to the 24. The Falcons come to the line in the hurry up. And I know in talking to their offensive coordinator this week, he talked about getting this guy lathered up and going. They know that once he's got some momentum, he's really hard to stop. One of the top ten rushers right now in the entire country, and they're trying to get him going early in this game. Back to throw, it's Bryant. Moving away from pressure. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And everybody knows when you're running that play action, that fake has to be great. Everybody has to bite it for it really to work. Defense didn't bite it, didn't bite the bait, went after the quarterback, got him on the ground. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. Trying to pound it in. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Falcons. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Getting set for the point after. Is on 40, extra point. 
And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. New Mexico State is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Aggie Memorial Stadium, one of the more fun places to watch a game in all of college football. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Oklahoma State. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires one high and deep. And it falls in, complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. On second down, he'll fire. This time, he's got his man. On the move at the 30. All kinds of room to the right. Touchdown, Owls! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. On to attempt the try. The kicker on for the extra point. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of an explosive play in the passing game from 60 yards out. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. To the air. It's Bryant. Throwing right. Pulls it in. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. At the 40, there he goes. Makes the stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. It's been a great way for the service academies to stay relevant in major college football by having prolific ground game. Yeah, then those ground games are a pain in everybody's you-know-what. I mean, they drive you nuts, the triple option, because so much discipline. I mean, they're so good at running what they do. They don't do a lot, but they're going to hit you right in the mouth and run the football. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Wants to fire on second down. And he got a hand in there and knocks it away incomplete. They were really starting to put a drive together. After a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Throws to the back. And that pass picked off. No real chance on the return, but they've got it at the 34. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Looking to the big tight end. Complete downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. 
Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time, make those precise throws, right in those holes, get those first downs, get those big chips. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Out of the gun, the inside gift. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Owls moving quickly to the line. He wants to throw. Using the quick game. Oh, there might have been trouble if they hadn't knocked him down so quickly. They'll line up for a second down play. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt. He was going down. Great job for him. Able to make his way past the sticks for the first down, and the time is going to drain out here in the first quarter. Both teams made no secret. They wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get it through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Brown. Who gives a hoot? The Owls go. It's a touchdown. And they take it in for six more points. No midseason doldrums for these guys as they push out the lead in week six. Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Find the running back out of the backfield. He catches it, does the rest, walks into the end zone for the touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do it. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You make up the game plan, and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Falcons line up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Now on the return. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Give to the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Motion from the offense. Looking for a man. It's Bryant. Wide open downfield. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And the Falcons racing to the line in the hurry-up. Wants to throw on first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Beard. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. 
brings up second down. From the gun, the running back has it. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. Seventh play of the drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. Gives it to the back on the draw. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The Falcons will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Out of the gun to give to the back. He's there to make the stop. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. On the play. Second down coming up. He'll run it again. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Last two runs got a big fat nothing. Let's see if they try to go up top on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes his connection. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Slips through the line. Coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. They'll put the ball in play from just inside their own 40 at the 39. Off the RPO, complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Here on second and short. Here's the handoff. Still on his feet at the 45. He's now up to 104 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the way, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide, and that's wide receivers. Yes, wide receivers commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy. A 42-yarder from the left hash. He got it. That makes the score. Temple, 28, Air Force, 10. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? 
He's got the back in the middle. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. Hand off from the shotgun. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Dropping back, it's Bryant. Unloads to the wideout. Connection to the right. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. The snap sets up the throw. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. He's looking to throw. And it's caught! Touchdown, Air Force! Touchdown. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. He'll try to tack on one more. And they make the extra point to draw closer. It's 28-17. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. New Mexico State is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Aggie Memorial Stadium, one of the more fun places to watch a game in all of college football. They're trailing by 12 to Oklahoma State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Trying to find his man on first down. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Fires the pass. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision-making. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. From the 22 on first and 10. Back to pass, it's Bryant. Got his man in the middle. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Getting some heat. And the pass rush is effective and they tackle him at the 19. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. It's good. That makes the That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. 
Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a terrific scene there today in Philly. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the Link, Lincoln Financial Field. Temple will try to boot this one deep to get the second half underway. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. They put points on the board in the first half, but still find themselves in a hole. If I'm this offense, man, I'm not trying to change anything. I scored a bunch of points. I've been successful. Jesse, the defense has to catch up here in the second half. Yeah, they do. They're going to have to start making plays. But you can only control what you can control. So for the offense, go out, do your job, trusting that your defense is going to make a play. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. The Falcons will hustle to the line. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're... And that ball is picked off. Didn't really get a chance to get started on that return, but he has set him up at the 41-yard line. Linebackers have a tough job, right? Their first responsibility is to stuff the run. But you can see he does a really good job seeing pass, getting back into his cover two drop, breaking on the football, and making the interception. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Keep it on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And they'll send out the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And now the lead is even bigger. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on the field. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Just into the end zone and he'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Air Force has it back and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Mistakes are going to happen as they did on that last drive. Now how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I'd have played with you. I didn't. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Owl! How about that play by this defense? Reading the running back, coming out of the backfield, breaking on the football, making the pick, and then walking himself into the end zone for a touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. 
They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. Using his legs, it's Beer. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Got it behind the line. It's Pro Bowl. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To the ground with the back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Bryant. Let's it fly. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Falcons will line up to put it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. Pulls it, fire complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. Across the 25, he's got room. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. After that last big gainer, they'll put it in play, first and ten from their own 49. Flips it out in the flat. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. The play action fake. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. And it's picked off for the third time today. Not only made the pick, but he also made up some ground and took it back to the 38. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to power their way ahead. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field goal. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Temple takes over and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Still running at the 40. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Temple lines up quickly. 
Defensively, you'll take the slow death. You'll take three, four, five yards a pop, but you can't give up the massive plays. You got to do a better job containing the football, making them run to guys and get, get them on the ground, for goodness sakes. This guy is fast, I know, but defensively, we got to swarm to the football and get them on the ground. After the run, 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 now to throw. He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. He's got his man. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. And when you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. Quick strike complete. Touchdown, Owls! And the route is on. He has been surgical. Precision has it. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. Even the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. New Mexico State is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Aggie Memorial Stadium. One of the more fun places to watch a game in all of college football. It's a tight one right now. They're trailing by only five to Oklahoma State. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one, Kevin. Let us know when it goes final. Orch is way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Hit as he throws. Lost the defense. He's wide open. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. The give to the tailback. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Running back searching for a hole. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Low man wins, and he just smashed him. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Looking downfield, it's Bryant. It's complete. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Got five wide outs spread across the field on second and five. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Relying on that running game inside the red zone, he picked up three to the 11. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Caught in the backfield, it's Cross. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. They'll try to pick up the first. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. 
Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. A first down run in the red zone. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Grab behind the line. It's Wilcox. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. Scrambling away. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Touchdown. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. They'll line up to go for two. Power ahead. They'll get the two-point conversion, and now the lead is 14. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Air Force 31. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. He's looking to throw it. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. He's got it inside the 30. He is feeling it. A huge play. Almost took it to the house, but they got him at the 24. That big play flipped the field. Now they go to work from just outside the red zone. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Going to be a gain of about three down to the 21. Defo lines up quickly. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Takes a snap, wants to throw. Makes the catch! Into the end zone! Touchdown out! They build this lead here in the fourth, and man, has this been a long time coming as this brutal losing streak is close to ending. Nice job on the route and catch by the tight end scoring that touchdown. And it doesn't matter what play this offense calls. All game long, everything has been working. This has been a master class in offensive productivity. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. They're lining up to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Scanning the field, it's Bryant. Unleashes one. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. Touchdown, Owls! How about that D coming up with a play like that? Now they've got a little breathing room after that score, and a week six victory is in the offing, it appears. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Air Force 
Brooks has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. He'll start this drive firing. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Last incompletion leaves him still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. He's looking to throw. This time it's complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. The Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's Bryant. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. On second down, just keeps firing. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Hums it downfield. It's caught downfield. They'll pick up enough yardage for the first down. They've got it at the 30. And the Falcons are on the move. Off play action on first down. With the catch, it's Provo. Oh, look out, there he goes. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. That's caught, it's Beard. Touchdown, Air Force! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Lining up to add another. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. New Mexico State has been blitzed from the opening kick. And as you can see, the score right now is a lot to a little. Let's see how this coach tries to explain this. They're trailing by 25 to Oklahoma State. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. First down, Temple. Leaves it with the running back. They get him stopped after a pickup of five to the 28. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. After run, 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 now throw. Flips it out to the back. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. Snags it. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. First and goal. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the D deny them on second and goal. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. Touchdown, Temple! And the pummeling has started. That's a nice job by this offense. Nice job putting the drive together late. This might seal this football game. And nice response. It's nice to be home, isn't it? Come back to the home crowd after you've lost a couple games. Get some mojo going back in your way. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 66, Air 
Here's the return from inside his tent. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Wants to throw. It's Bryant. He's got his man. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. The short hands. It's Mendez. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. They're working that left side. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. The aerial assault continues. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He fires one deep over the middle. He's got it downfield for a huge gain. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. Snap in the shotgun. And here's the fifth interception by this quarterback. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. This is a beautiful situation for the defense. When you're up by two plus scores and you're in this situation, you will know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the boat. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. Now on second down. Second down. Scoreboard operator got a workout in this one. Fun game for us to watch, but they can't come up with the W. Yeah, and it's a team game, right? The offense did their job, and now defense will have to find a way in the future to make better plays, get stops, and stop them scoring so many points, especially when your offense does their job. And we see a lot of games like this in college football when both offenses are just trading blows back and forth, and it just comes down to which defense can get a stop. And unfortunately for the losing team, they just were not able to get it done. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.